Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the weapons of hot dogs, horseshoes and hand grenades. Today we're taking a look at this thing. This is the UMP-45 from HK or HK, Heckler & Koch. So, UMP-45. It is a submachine gun. The Germans, well HK, designed it in the 19, mid-1990s, started production in 2000. And uh, this was uh, a submachine gun designed to replace the MP5. The lovely MP5, famous gun, we all know it, we all love it. But uh, the UMP, it was made to be cheaper and a tiny bit lighter than uh, the MP5. So, uh, for reference, let's just uh, bring up the MP5. Let's see, that's a submachine gun. Um. Uh, let's just bring a bog standard. Sure, let's bring this MP5. So, uh, as you can see, they both look uh, similar in a way, but this is a lot blockier. So let's uh, throw that away. So, uh, roller delayed blowback. Uh, yeah, I believe the MP5 was roller delayed blowback, or it was roller locked. One of the two. Well, the UMP is just roller, uh, not roller delayed. It's just blowback. Which, it has a, a bit more recoil as a consequence, but it is a lot cheaper to produce. However, the UMP, UMP, which stands for a Universelle Machine Pistol, or Universal, Universal Submachine Gun, it uh, didn't really sell well. It was intended to replace the MP5, but even, if I'm not wrong, even today the MP5 sells more. And I'm gonna be honest, I agree, this thing is a bit too blocky. I don't really like it. But, I mean, it is a fine uh, gun. So today we have the 45, the UMP-45. It is chambered in... Uh, no, nope. It is chambered in this round. Um, 45 ACP, just like the 1911. And the Thompson M3 Grease gun. And probably some more guns. Can't think of any right now. So, the UMP, just like the MP5, charging handle up front, it has Picatinny rails up top, to the side, and below. It does not have uh, the classic HK drum uh, sight. You now just have a toggle between a U-notch and a uh, aperture sight. Aperture, of course, being my prefer preference. The UMP has a folding stock. If you pull the ha charging handle back, it has a little notch just like the MP5, and you can boop! HK slap it. You have a safe, semi, two burst round, and full auto. So, uh, safe, nothing happens, auto, uh, semi, two round burst. I'm not a fan of burst fire, personally, but it's there. And uh, full auto. And one thing you'll notice is, it does not have a very high rate of fire. It only has a rate of fire of about, um, about 600. And it has a bolt op hold open, which is definitely a step up over the, uh, over the MP5. And uh, there's the bolt release. And of course, you can always lock it up. So, uh, with the MP5 to reload it, you would normally, let's... Let's pretend that it, this is an empty mag. So, in the real thing, you would have to pull it out. Pull the, or, I mean, you would have to pull this, lock it open. Stay open, thank you. Pop a mag in, and HK slap it. Not, not necessary with the UMP. Because of the whole bolt hole open. So, uh, that, that's the UMP, basically. Um, I'm here in the breaching proto. Um, I figured uh, we'd uh, do a quick run with the UMP just for fun. We'll do a IPSC sequence. I am not the best at this, it's been a while. Uh, 
There we go. A quick sequence with the UMP. Oh, well, let's uh, put up some attachments on this thing since uh, it it is a lot more modular than the MP5. That is crafting, right? Uh, without a doubt, a big advantage of it. Um, let's see. See a aim point M2 clone. Let's put some. I do like angled foregrips. It fits perfectly. Um. Nah, let's not put any. And let's put a. Okay, I think that's for pistols. Let's put a tactical laser on it. There we go. And let's put on a flashlight. There we go. Now we're ready for our action. That red dot is going to confuse, or uh, the laser is going to confuse the hell out of me. But anyways. Right, there wasn't any there. The fact that I'm shooting with two red dots visible is confusing the heck out of me. But anyways, this is the MP5. Ow. Literally just one round left. It's, uh, it's a lovely pistol. MP5, it's the UMP45. It's a lovely uh, gun. Um, I should have checked how many rounds of ammo there is in uh, this magazine. I think it's 25, but let's check. Um... Anything fun to shoot at? There is now. Uh, actually, let's spawn. Oh, that caused the lag spike. Ten Sussex. And now we'll find out. Next week's special will be... uh, One, two, three, four. Uh, I forgot I was counting ammunition. Oops. Let's try this again. Oh, and it also has a useful uh, ammunition build window. Um. Okay. Now let's try again. 25 rounds, I think. One. Two, three. Four. Five. Six in the middle! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, and let's just do this without any distraction, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty. Twenty-five rounds. There we go. Oh, right. Uh, another noticeable thing I should mention is this one, the 45 ACP mag, is uh, a straight mag. So uh, on the UMP9, which uh, you'll be able to see next week. Yeah, I'm going with next week. Um, you'll be able to see the UMP9 with a more classic mag like the MP5 has, which is curved, I believe. If it isn't, well, sh joke on me, but I believe the UMP... I believe the UMP-9 has a curved magazine. Uh, maybe next week I'll eat my words. We'll see. Oh, 
Come on. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. So anyways, this is the UMP9. 45. Jesus Christ, I'm terrible with names today. First we have the MP5, then the UMP9. This was the UMP45. Chambered in 45 ACP. I do hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all that. I'll see you next time with the UMP9. Bye.